Hi everyone, this is Nalza here, and today we're going to play Desktop Dungeons. Yeah, it's a game that just came out on Steam. It's a wonderful little game with the soundtrack by Danny B, Danny Baronofsky. I'm a massive follower on Twitter, so I've been waiting for this game for ages, and it looks really fun. Uh, it's uh, It describes itself as a 10-minute coffee break roguelike dungeon crawler. So I was like, well, that's right up my alley. Love a bit of dungeon crawling, love the roguelikes, so let's try it out. So we've started a game, I have made a new kingdom, I've called it Nalzi Land. Of, of course, because I'm Nalzi and it's my land. Uh, so here's the story. <clears throat> Creatures attacked in the night, the caravan was unprepared. Travellers had been warned about the unexplored realms, but Pride often plays tricks on reason. Flames and blood engulf the defenders, nomads, exiles and vagabonds, with only a handful of real fighters among them. Injured, ill-trained, and separated from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. Dungeons. Perhaps. We'll call them. Are they perhaps dungeons? Uh, so we're going to go up here. Now, I've done the tutorial. And learned a little bit about the game before I can just kill myself in the game. Uh... So by exploring, you get regain health. I know that much. So we're all good there. So we're down to four health. So here's my character. I'm a human guard. Uh, I'm looking a bit worse for wear, but that's fine. You know, sometimes heroes come in mysterious packages. So this guy here on the right, it's safe to hit him now. He's got nine health. I've got five attack. Well, his, he's got three attack. All right, so I should be able to kill him easy, easy peasy, actually. Done, done, done. And again, to regain... Oh, shit. 12 health, but he's only got one attack. All right, that's easy, actually. Let's just kill him. So, regaining health just by clicking around, moving around. So, a little fun. It's quite a fun little game, actually. So, as you can see here, let me just... Can I show you guys this? Right click? Yeah, here we go. So, he's got three attack, as you can see here, and he's got nine health. Now I'm going to hit for 5, so I'm going to take him down to 4 in the first hit, and he's going to take me down to 7, so I'm easy to kill him. As you can see, and I've just leveled up. So I know I hit for 10, holy fuck. So there's a... oh, oh gosh. Okay, this guy hits for 8. That's uh, not looking too super, actually. What else is in the dungeon? Is it just him? Oh god. So we need to kill this fucking ass to get through. But we manage it. Okay, so these, okay, so these here are what they've got health upgrade, mana upgrade, and damage upgrade. Now, this game is available on Steam. It came out yesterday. Oh, this is a spell, isn't it? Let's pick this up. Burn Deiraz. Burn Deiraz. Uh, it came out. When did it come out? It came out. Oh, gosh, what are these? They hit for eight. Fucking hell. I can just one shot them though. Can't I? Nope, I can't. Uh, hold on. Kill. Whew. So I just used my spell there. Uh, I don't really think. Oh, I, I can regen a little bit actually. We can see around them in the darkness a bit. Let's burn this guy to death as well. And just hit him. What? Oh, what's this? So I never did the full tutorial because I didn't want to learn everything about it before I went into it. So I don't really know what this is. Also, oh, health potion. Guaranteed you restore 40% of health. Guaranteed to taste awful. Cures poison. Let's pick that up. All right, so that's how you use it. Okay, quite easy. Let's go to this question mark here. What is this? Oh, it's a mana potion. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Excellent. Oh, another one of these fucking guys. Let's kill him. Easy stuff. Uh, I'm getting anxious now. I'm getting nervous. Oh god, what's this guy? Hits for eight. Okay. I think we can take him out with this, can't we? We're gonna need more mana. Wait, I can take this and do it again. Yes! And we leveled up, so we're doing even more damage. Don't think he even got a shot at us. Wait, what's down here? One meat boy. A meat boy monster. Wow, we've got 33 health. Freaking rocking it. So apparently these this game, if you enjoy it, you know, we can keep playing it because I think it looks excellent. Uh, apparently it only takes like 10 minutes to, to play. Something like that. 
So like, you can just sit down and play for 10 minutes and that's that, you know, you, oh my fuck, this guy hits for a lot. Hits for 24. He'll kill me, won't he? This guy, we can kill this guy. Oh, a locket, what's this? Pennant of health. Okay, sweet. Uh, we've got that now, cool. Um, hmm. I want to kill this guy. That's for 24. I've got 43, so he can't kill me. Oh no, next hit is death. The fuck? Bullshit. I need regen and health. Oh, what's that? Sensation stone, high conversion value. A sensory stone that seems completely inert at first, but yields great rewards after conversion process. Like, let's pick that up. So, what does it want me to convert? It wants me to convert. Oh, wait, don't. Oh, it wants me to do this? Oh. So, I've converted that now, so it increases my kind of attacks. Attack, um. stuff, basically. <laughs> uh, right, what are these enemies here? So, we've got a zombie and a goo blob. This guy hits for eight. I think we can take this guy down quite easily. Or maybe not. Fucking hell. Right, he's dead. And this guy hits for 18. Wow, he's got a lot of health. Okay, we'll, we'll ignore him for now. Let's regen some health. Right. This guy hits for 18. This hits for, what is this? Deals for 12 damage. He's got a lot of fucking health. I hit for 18 as well, and he's got more health than me. He's gonna, he's gonna kill me first. Right. <clears throat> this guy hits for 24. Oh, there's a fucking meat boy next to him as well. We can kill that guy quite easily. Can we just leave this guy? I don't want to leave him. I want to kill him. I want to kill him dead. I want to kill this guy so dead. Nice! Okay, we killed him. Wow. That was tricky, actually. Can we get in that little block there? No, or there? No. Oh, wait, what's up here? Oh, hello! What's this? Extra mana? Two mana? Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Little mana locket hiding there. Right, so we've got another baddie here. Heads for 12. He's got, 30. Mm, he's got quite a lot of health. But we should be able to kind of conquer this asshole. Except with this. Yes, level 4. Fucking rocking it. Can we now own this guy? We're hitting for 24. He's hitting for 18. I think we can kill this guy now. Oh, we can do two spells now. Owned fucking hard, right. <clears throat> we must be coming to the end of this dungeon now. I haven't, again, I haven't done this level at all, so in case you guys think I'm, I'm just like, no idea what I'm doing. Uh, well, actually, I don't really have any idea what I'm doing. I did the tutorial, because I did want to come into a game not knowing anything about it, which is what I usually do with games. Um, I think we can on this guy, yeah. A lot of health, but he's got low damage. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice to go into a game and actually kind of know what I'm doing for fucking change? Uh, let's hit this guy with a spell. Right, anything up in this corner here? No. So I, I did the first couple of levels of the tutorial, and then I stopped. Uh oh, uh oh. Is that a fucking. a goat? Oh god, the goats are really tough. Can we skip around them, maybe? Shit, look at all the dead stuff around the goat. That's not good. So here's the goat. He hits for 31. Fuck me. And a goblin. Can I just attack this goat from a distance? Maybe. Wait a minute. Oh, I've not got enough mana. The goat's regen in health. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Next hit death. No, I don't want to die. I use the mana pot. Goat dead. Holy shit. Look, look how, <laughs> look how dramatic that is. A goat horn. This trophy is what you came here for. Grab it and let's go. Okay. 
Congratulations on making it through your first dungeon. In case you're still uncertain about some things, and uh, we'd like to offer a guided tutorial before plunging on the lines, feel free on oh, yeah, let's go onward. Oh, whoa! It's just over now. Oh, what? I never explained, explored everything. Okay, fair enough. Many perished in the days and weeks following the attack. Some were slaughtered by cave denizens. Others became trapped or lost. Stronger survivors prevailed against the darkness, banding together to establish a crude outpost at the heart of the wilderness. If this fledgling settlement is to survive beyond its first few weeks, its people will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep enemies at bay. This is where your job begins. As the elected administrator of this rabble, it will be up to you to expand the settlement and recruit the heroes needed to defend your people. Okay, okay! Most honorable administrator, I've been elect- That kind of looks like Shin. Didn't it? Fuck. How do I- What's Shin's voice? Hello! That's kind of Shin, isn't it? Most honorable administrator, I've been elected here- <laughs> No. Uh, right, an advisor, okay. Your new position gives you responsibility over our collected funds and efforts. This represents the resources we've managed to scrounge so far. Your current task is to ensuring our survival, so I recommend investing. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, we're upgrading this. Okay, okay. Upgraded. Administrator, remember this moment well, for you have just taken your first tentative steps, steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, these survivors will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. We've unlocked the fighter class. Okay. Admirable clicking and spending, noble administrator. You've just unlocked the fighter class. These hardly warriors are superior to common guards in several ways. They excel at hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. Ooh. Alright, this one here. Quest unlock trophy hunting. Administrator, our scouts have discovered some monster lairs in the surrounding area. It is time to take them. It is time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes load up and move out. They can return when they have the, some monster heads and other souvenirs of victory. Who the fuck is this? Well, that sounds like an interesting prospect. Oh, sorry, buddy. We'll chat later. All right, so we've got an easy, an easy, and an easy. Vince's vault. So this is the class we've unlocked. Uh, hmm. Where should we go? The Badlands, the Thousand Cuts, or Vince's Vault? I'm thinking the Badlands. I think there might be a goat in there. Alright, this realm belongs to a creature so terrifying and deadly that it's said that he, even he can fell the mightiest of warriors with a single blow. Magic and cunning are required to prevail. Okay, so it's a, yeah, it's a... It's a goat. <laughs> okay, let's kill the goat. Uh, we will go... What is this? What is this? Oh, uh, oh, this is so it's a human fighter. Okay. Uh, play. Yes. Oh dear. Let's read this sign. You're playing as a human fighter. Humans get 10% attack bonus for every 100 conversion points. Oh, okay. This class has the following abilities. Instincts. Monsters of an equal or lower level always have their locations revealed. Veteran. One ex extra experience per monster kill, faster leveling. Pit dog dungeon runs start with one with level one. Wait, dungeon runs start with one level of standard death protection on the character. What does that mean? You can also get up to date information on your character status. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Death protection. What the fuck does that do? We've got Arrow Dungeoner here. Let's get some extra health. Let's get some extra this, extra this, extra this, extra this. Pick up, pick up this, pick up this. Right, hello there. You are going to get uh, rinsed. Yeah. Good job. Good job of getting rinsed. Ah, a spell! Let's pick up the spell. That was lucky we went this way. What is that? Destroy wall. Destroy a dungeon wall and gain a temporary 20% physical resistance boost. Okay, that sounds fucking awesome. Some gold there. Alright, who is this? Fuck that guy. Deals 4 damage, he's got 9 damage. We hit for 5, it's probably best just to attack him then. Oh god, I think we were nearly dead there, but we're okay. Uh, pick up this. Right, let's go deal with this meat boy, shall we? Hello, oh fuck, what's this again? End this wall, destroy a wall. Let's pick that up then. I'm gonna convert that. Yeah, because there's no point in keeping two of them. <clears throat> I think, I think I'm doing that right. One shot in the meat boy. One shot in that guy. There's tons of guys over here, so I'm going to go kill all these guys. Uh, we're safe because he only hits for four. Yeah. What's this sign say? Dungeon Hit Writers Guild... Dungeon Hit... Dungeon Hit Writers Guild memo number two. Casting Fireball means a free attack. Use it as often as possible, even if you're a fighter. <clears throat> ah, right, okay. Well, that's a, a clue, obviously. Uh, let's tab back into that. 
Let's cast on this guy. I don't know why they don't attack while I'm casting spells at them. And it's a bit strange. Right, we've leveled up again because we're just badass. Right, we can one-shot that zombie. We can one-shot that guy. This guy we can kill easily because he only hits for four. So, fuck him. Oh, God! Oh, dear. It's the, it's the boss. Uh, I've been kicking around since the dungeon desktop dungeon alpha and I'm still going to kick your ass. Just let me land one hit. That doesn't sound... Oh, my fuck! Oh, barely alive because I've got the death protection thing, don't I? Well, that is not good. We don't want that. What is this? A passage. Explore a little more of the dungeon? Yeah, I probably will do that, actually. Let's kill that guy first, though. Let's level up. Because there could be some good stuff here. Uh, that we're missing out on, like, stuff that's going to help us kill this goddamn goat. One shot. Right, hold on. Let's cast spells at this wizard. And now we can kill him. Uh, we can one-shot this guy. The good thing is they don't chase you down, which is just wonderful. Uh, right, we can destroy this... Wait. Wait, let's, let's go attack this guy, actually. Right, we've got no more health. How much does he have for... Oh, wind. Okay. Right, we're level 5. Is that the max level? I don't know. One-shot that guy. Oh man, I should have looked at his attack there because I was not sure if I would have one shot. What's this? Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> okay. Grants your first strike in your next combat round and 5% dodge chance. Yeah, let's pick that up. Let's get that. That's increasing our mana, increasing our attack. Get some gold there. Getting there. Right. Oh, there's another thingy upgrade there. Right, let's kill that guy. Give me that. So that was uh, another attack upgrade, I think. Right, is that another... Oh, yeah, so we'll pick this up and we'll get this... 20 damage! Holy fuck! Okay, well, we're going to We're going to put this in here. Increase our attack by 200... Uh, by 2 there. Pick up the mana pot. I don't really use the mana pot as much, to be fair. Maybe I should. Maybe that's the uh, Maybe that's the trick. Right, another get in there. We'll pick this up and we'll throw it in the old con uh, converter. 40 attack now. We'll one shot on that guy. One shot that guy. Anything over here, some gold, and that sits. What's up here? One shot that guy. Okay. Let's go down. Wait, what's got up here, actually? Nothing. Let's go down here. Uh, safe. Eight is for seven. Hmm, let's just attack him with that. Yeah. Okay. And is that it? Is that the end of this? Fun, fun stuff. What? What am I doing here? I, I activated. No, I activated get in there. Oh shoot, shoot! I wanted to activate end this wall. I wanted to see if there was something behind the wall. What is this? Go in this passage. Oh, free loot. Is that it? It's just free loot. Well, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's end this wall this though, just in case there's something behind this wall. Oh my god, there is! Oh, ho, 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 ho. wait, let's end this wall again. Okay, that's it. Well, we can keep using end this wall actually, because every time we explore a new place, we unlock like more mana, so we can just make sure that there's absolutely nothing in here. No, there's not. Wow, that was fucking skills to pay the bills there, literally to pay the bills. Uh, right, let's go up here, go. Okay, so we're fighting the goat now. Hits for 75, that's a lot of stuff that hits for. Uh, we can get rid of Endus Wall. Right, we hit for 51 now. So let's throw some fucking spells at this goat. And use some mana pots. Hit another goat. I can just kill him. Yes! Oh, yes! Give me that goat horn. Wait, what's this? Nothing. Okay, give me that goat horn. Uh, wait, how do you pick it up? There. And... Exit! Fucking rock and roll. Victory in the Badlands as a human fighter. 
Man, I'm loving this game. I think it's pretty cool. It's very, very slick, don't you think? I'm more than happy to do more games than this if you, if you guys enjoy it. I think it's very cool. Um, don't know what any of this is for. It's not for me, it's for administrative use only, so it's not me. Let's continue. Right. What is that? Right, we've completed the quest trophy hunting. Victory! Your hero parades through the muddy streets of your rapidly growing settlement, goat horn clasped in one mailed fist. Rose petals and jubilant shouts alike fill the air as ten folk come out to celebrate. Amidst the glee, a lone figure approaches you as you recline in your administrator's parade viewing chair. Hi there, I can't help but notice the sheer amount of fun you're all having with that chunk of monster skull. I happen to have a business proposal related to that. This may seem a little forward, but I was once a renowned taxidermist in the surrounding realms, and I know a lot of very rich buyers who would love a mounted beastie head of some kind hanging over their fireplace. Bragging light, see? Long story short, I'd like to buy that trophy from you. I have gold right here. The new kingdoms need some kind of regular income, right? Well, work with me and we can build an entire economy around hunting and slaying eel. I'm pretty sure that this will turn into a long and mutually profitable relationship. Okay. Trophy sold, right? So we sell this guy trophies, do we? Uh, we sold the goat horn for 150. Okay, fair play. Guild expansion. There's more than one way to slay the average dungeon monstrosity, and the kingdom's population is one of diverse talents and interests. Many magic users, uh, sorry, magic users, holy men, and even common cut purses are interested in fighting the good fight, especially if there's money involved. I see. Let's put that money to building ourselves a second guild. Is that what we'd have to do here? Wait, what? Up here? And Upgrading this structure will give you priests, I see. Um, wizards, if we do this structure, uh, this will give me thieves. Well, I'm pretty sure you all know where I'm going. Fucking wizards, biatch. Alright, there we go. We've unlocked the wizard class. Oh, my phone, I got a text message of some kind. Which is, because I'm so important. Uh, everyone wants to talk to Nalzi. <clears throat> Of course. Our brave new kingdom is still in grave peril. The denizens of nearby dungeons are beating, breathing down our necks. If a brave hero wanders in and slays the leaders of each area, the rest should be demoralized enough to scatter. Most autonomous and independently thinking administrator, I believe you've learned enough to start performing kingdom duties in whichever way you see most fit. I'll still be on hand to advise you when new matters come up, but from here on you may consider your decisions and opportunities somewhat more open. Have fun. Okay then. Well here we are folks. I hope you enjoyed this first little video. If you did enjoy it, then please do tell me below in the comment section. Oh, guys, I, I know that YouTube has upgraded the comment section and it's not so great. But my viewers are smart guys and girls. And I want you to know that even though the comment section isn't as great as it could be, that we're all still there for each other, okay? And try not to be disheartened. Just try and use it as best you can. I know it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but I have to put up with it as much as you guys do. Let's not spam the comment section with here is why the comment section sucks. And yeah, let's try and get through this. We'll try and live with it, okay? For those of you who want to see new comments, I believe you have to go to the top left of the comment section and then click on top comments and change that to new comments. I will always see your comments if you leave them, so don't feel like you're going to be ignored. Don't feel like the new comment section is going to stop your messages getting through to me. They will absolutely not, and I will continue to read all the comments that are left below, okay? Anyway, if you enjoyed this game, please do click like and, and share it and stuff. That would be cool, because I think it's a flipping awesome game and I'd love to play more. Cool, catch you all later. Bye. This is my outro song, so that the vet doesn't end to who suddenly. Be sure to click like and faith and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vet, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god, bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.